Monday night at Jack 3 of the series between 16th ranked Kentucky. And really complimenting complimenting Shelby Walton just a bit more but the key to her success is being able to work the bottom part of the zone within their pocket they've dropped the first two games in the series count to Kayla Kowalik leading things off back through the middle knocked down by Kerpix who throws it low but a Kowalik is one of those lefties in Athens right that was the spike throw to first and champ to lay down a bunt right in front of home plate back to the pitcher two down innings giving up six hits five runs four earned three saves off speed to Aaron Koffel for strike. Talked at the top about the home. And there is ball four, and Koffel is aboard. Starting lineups the same. Things in the middle of the lineup on Saturday drop down. This one is popped up on the left side. Room for Sarah Mosley to put it away to retire. Sullivan in the circle for the Wildcats, somebody that likes to work. Arm issues, so unable to go here. That one is fouled off by Goodnight, and it's really a pain. End of the day, you're looking ahead toward down the stretch in May and in June. Sullivan, good start, gets the strikeout. That's her eighth of the season. On this pitch, you can see it running away from For Sarah Mosley. A center field, Nesby has room. Two down. <laughs> Tries to come inside, misses for ball two. Together in the absence of Schooner on the season. Ground ball to second. Margaret Tobias on the. They made a bunch of errors in the field, and you come. 18. Kerpix is now walked 33. You get the point, though, Madison. I'm just trying to sell your point a little bit here. I appreciate Confusing. You know, confusing you know I mean, things like an inning, and I've already butchered. <laughs> is sent to right field. Backing up is Jada Kearney, and Taylor Edges is retired on a hard hit ball. <laughs> One on one. Last weekend against Mississippi State, three nothing and ten nothing. When you're hitting singles consistently, ball. Ellie Armistead moves to her left, throws on to first. Defense has been solid according to with a home run and nine runs batted in. The one zero from Kerpix. It's two and zero. In on the hand, soft little bloop to Mosley at third. Another one turned in the offseason of this one is lifted to left by Jaden Fields. Riley Smith comes on to put it away, playing at Tennessee. Go to a lot of great artwork on their masks and Kayla Payne tribute to were the same between the catcher and the pitcher, or maybe what you would come in and say for her. So just learning the different types of personalities, what makes them thrive in those high pressure situations. That's situations. Now, me well enough to know that I was not a dancer out there on the field. <laughs> it was so disappointing to hear because I'm really <laughs> one. That's grounded foul. One on one, the count to Kuma, 396 on the season. Game together for the rest <laughs> I, of the season. Eric, I, I, I knew literally you were have a button. I have a button here that just calls that photo. <laughs> Grounded to third, chance for two. Turn to second for one on the first. No chance to get runner over at it's second base. It's now called the ship. Chambly at 351 on the season. Six homers, 29. That's down low for ball four. Two on, two outs. Here, Florida, another one. South Carolina, Alabama. 63 on the season. Swings at the first pitch, ground ball to Koffel with a nifty little flip on to Tobias to retire the side. 8 9 and 1, Vico Harrislin slaps one on the left. Jada Goodwin puts it away. One pitch. And Taylor Ebbs had a hard line drive out to right field. No, we're unable to pitch this weekend. That just misses to Tobias. It's 1 and 2. But it gives you an idea. He had worked her way into that ace position, and she was pitching so more down in the zone. So to be able to have. That throw the ball in different directions, I think, is huge going up against really tough opponents. Back to the top of the order, and here's Kayla Kowalik. That misses for a ball. I always try the types of players where I felt like I was almost playing that route ways to throw them off their game. It's a four-pitch walk to Kowalik, who's aboard for the first time tonight. Second.
back to back four pitch walks issued for ball one the Koffel. Nine straight balls thrown by home runs on this season. Yeah, you knew Koffel had to take a strike. Loop down the left field for a base hit. Runner being waved around. Here comes the third of the plate. Davis can't hold on to third. And here's Riley Smith. Now Kerpix ahead in the count. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and miss. Kerpix gets the strikeout. So she had control issues. 20 home runs. She's kept it going at the plate and showing off off for Georgia number nine hitter with the fly ball to center field Nesby the freshman and has played at a high level freshman sophomore now junior he struck out her first time adjustments to what the pitcher is trying to attack them with in the circle ground ball to Koffel the bobble coster back to the track now coming in to grab it as ebbs she has the ability to move on over into scoring position strike one another 0-2 from Sullivan swung on and missed Sullivan gets the strikeout to leave Goodnight stranded no, and it's only a matter of time before things work out for her. straight two defenders out the field that's where sticking with the process becomes so important. Strikes thrown by Kerpix here tonight. Four pitch walk to Kung freshman year. It's just a matter of time. And she's aboard with a four pitch walk. It's interesting watching Shh. Kerpix work in the circle. He's down the bunt to advance the runner. Sacrifice is successful. Both from their right handed batters in the lineup. Another one misses. Four pitch walk to Sullivan. Two on with one down. Either one of those pitches right now for strikes consistently. And she also has a changeup that I think can be difference. Kerpix came on to get the final out. There's a strike. It's one on one. Nine hits, three runs, two earned, one walk, three. A win and a save in the series. Speed, slow roller to Armistead, who will go to first to get the out. Runners move up to second and third, two down. It's easy ground ball over to her shortstop for out number two. Then with two on and two down here in the fourth. And take strike one. Scoring position. Goes to the changeup to get the strikeout to retire the side. Oh, here's Jathens. Give ground ball to Koffel on to first. Fields is retired, one away. Jaden had that walk off RBI. Just another lesson that softball tops football in your eyes. <laughs> I do love both sports. Eight number one in the SEC in home runs with ground ball, hard hit to Tobias. Two down. I'm Sullivan. Field, but slicing foul. Stop. Up on the infield, Koffel calls for it. Kennedy Sullivan continues. Back in the lineup for UCLA, her seventh year. Johnny Goldteen strikeouts as Kowalik singles it through the left side to lead off here in the fifth. He's been able to bring the Gamecocks this season. That is South Carolina's. Slaps it to second. Kowalik delayed. Uh, doing a bit of a different defensive shift for the slap. The game. It took her a little extra time to reach that glove over and apply the tag to Nesby. And just that. Sp Sixth walk issued by Georgia. In the fourth for Georgia. By the left field, a good win. Nesby retreated to second. She's rounding third. She'll score.
Yeah, Madison's sixth error of the series, looking for the reward. With the fly ball to center field, tagging up at third is Koffel, moving on to third is hit the run, cross home plate in top. Now the question will be, what can base going back after running? ...to position themselves out and then make a play. Lorsong off the glove of an error on Mosley, her first error of the She... Two and one. But I think that here, too, you can look at it as a bit of a change of momentum because Kentucky is really right there on the elbow guard. It looked like maybe Coach... Lorsung and Sullivan will be on the move. Another walk issued by Georgia pitching. <laughs> that was funny. Kylie disagrees a little more vociferously. And then Macy, whatever Tony Baldwin said. Here, you don't need to overthrow it. Players throughout the season do need in certain moments. Well, there's choice. After that, it went one. Chopped in front of the plate because there's trouble. Goodwin, who's 0 for 1 tonight. Left field, it hangs up, but not long enough for Riley Smith. To... And Goodwin has her first innings. Line drive, Koffel with the grab. And just 2-2 to good night. Chopped to second, bobbled by Tobias. Koppel got to the bag in the circle that are more pitch to contact type of. Qualic's been on base twice, one for two. <laughs> Meanwhile, one down for Vanessa Nesby. Nesby, Mosley playing well in from. Back up the middle, past Armistead in the center field. Another hit for Koppel. She's been on. From her throughout her career, able to. Going into third base on that dive, ended up diving a little. Smith. Armistead reaches out and snag. All right handed. Mosley's over two. two. The righty's up, up and inside. This one is hammered to left, and it gets by Riley Smith. Having thrown 17 innings in eight of relief on Saturday through three and two thirds, gave up. 3-1. Ball four, two on. Just won the fields. Flied out to left in the second. Down low for ball four. The bases are loaded with one. Knowing that Sydney. Popped up. Infield fly rule in effect. Big out. Sydney Chambly 0 for 1 with a walking. The payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Gayen comes through with the K. And one out. Got a pop up and a out to end the threat. Chop right side. Chased would look to be ball four, would have brought in a run. Just matter of factly and nonchalance. Delivers, battles at the plate and gets the base hit. Which pregame. And I think she's done a great job since. Grounded Armistead bobbles it, has to eat it. Games earlier this season because of their defense. That's up top. Harrison swing and a miss. Two down. He after taking two. Truly this year. Any slate. That one is a slow roll with third. Mosley. Sloan Gayen is one for two. Round ball to Koppel on to first. One away for two was robbed of a hit. On the fine defensive that we're used to seeing from a Georgia team. Juan is down the line and left. A base hit by Armistead. Struck out in the first. Reached out an error in the third. <laughs> Good night. Back in the top of the seven. This is exactly the field. Nesby under it for the out. Tagging and it's walk. Ground ball to Koffel at short on the first and Kentucky. Knowing that Stephanie Schoonover is not going to be available for. Just the second SEC loss.